Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to create an API reference in Widgi. To do this, we're going to need to use a public source API from the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our browser and we're going to go to this website here, which is uh, jsonapi.co. I will add this in the description of the video. Um, we're going to go to public APIs and we're going to search by category. We're going to go down to personality and I'm going to use the affirmations for this example. So what we need to do is press try this API and we've got the affirmations.dev website or URL there, you can see that it's an affirmation, you got this. So if you refresh that, it generates another one. So what this does is it generates a random affirmation for your widget or whatever you want to use the API on. There's a world of possibilities, but today we're going to use Widgy. So I'm going to copy this link exactly like it is. And we're going to go over to Widgy. So again, you can choose any size you like. So I'm just going to do this on a large and I'm going to name it API. Okay, so first off, we're going to put our background in. I've showed you how to do backgrounds before, but for this one, I'm going to use an image. I'm going to make it the whole screen. I'm going to use, I'll tell you what we'll do, because for the sake of the fact we're using API lists, I'm going to use a, an image from the API, an API list. So you've got a, a wide range of ones that um, Widgie provides. Um, I think I'm just going to go for, let's go for an unsplash image. And you can select anything from Unsplash. So if we say uh, calm, in fact, we'll go for a beach. So let's find one for a beach. And we can use any of these on our, our widget. So this one looks quite nice. So now we've got our background. I'm going to add a uh, group. I'm going to call this background. And I'm going to put the image, the background image in the group. And I'm going to add a new layer. This is what we, we've done before. We're going to use a tap action and we're going to use reload widget. Again, this is the, um, t this tap action reloads the widget. So when we get to use our API, it will reset the API. And I'm just going to put that across the whole of the widget like that. And now we're going to add a new layer and we're going to add a text. I'm going to move this. I think let's make sure it's right in the middle first. So we'll put it there. And let's get this nice and central. We're then going to go over to our little box here and click on text. So as explained in the past, we've got all of these uh, wonderful things you can do with Widgie, a lot of data, a lot of information. But again, it's um, there's so much useful information you can already in the app. So you've got this API list and you can actually have, I don't know, a dad joke if you want. Um, let's make the text black just so you can see. So you can read it a bit better. Um, so yeah, some of the jokes are funny. Some of them are absolute rubbish. I'll let you guys interpret that. You've got um, all sorts of joke ones. There's another one there. Um, and you've even got advice clip here. So um, you've got some really good built-in ones already. Or when I say built-in, they're still using the... Um, APIs but they're already um, set up but to put our own one in what we're going to do is we're going to go into JSON endpoint 
and we're going to click on endpoint and just here where it uh, has the URL already in we're going to uh, select all of that and control V and paste the one from the website um, and then we're going to press run there's only one string on this uh, JSON or this API so it's a really easy one and I'll show you another one and another video um, in, a, in a bit but this one we're just going to select that we're going to press test and we've got a result the result is you're an inspiration so that is what the text will say um, as uh, if that one was to be populated however it's generated another one since so I think what I'll do here I want to make a uh, nice background in a minute as in like for the text the backdrop um, but first what I will do is let's change the font so we're going to go and find a nice font that's quite nice um, so I'm going to use that I will I think I'm going to put a nice shadow on it I will center it so let's put that in the center um, and we'll go over to the settings here I'm going to leave all of this as it is and put a nice little shadow in and now what I'm going to do is just do a nice backdrop so I'm going to go and add in a shape So let's change the colour. We don't want it to be um, black and mixed with the colours. And I'm going to change the shape as well. Let's not just keep it boring and square. Let's get something quite fancy. And what I'm going to do now is change the opacity and maybe the blend. So I'm going to go over to the three lines at the top and just change the blend here, see what we can get. It'd be nice to maybe have something faint, but the blending seems, uh, that's not too bad. The blending seems to be not the way forward, so I think I'll go back to normal. And I'll just change the opacity a little bit. Right, and there we have it. Uh, it looks quite good. I think it needs a few finishing touches, so I'm just going to play around with the shape and the colour. And there you go. We're done. So I'm going to add it to my home screen. We're going to go down to Manage. I'm going to find the slot that I want. And we're going to add it to um, add the widget that we just created to that slot. I'm going to go home and we will add the widget to by going up to the top and typing in widget. Uh, we've done this a few times before. And there you go. Now you know how to add an API to a widget. Again, you can do this however you like. The world is your oyster, as they say. So have a play around. There's many different APIs on that website, and there's loads on GitHub too. So just go searching. I just Google search um, the topic that I'm after, an API. I am going to have a go at a few more advanced widgets. I do want to look at doing a sports score widget. So if you have a football team you want to follow, That'll be a good one for you to, to watch. So we're going to have a good few tutorials and sessions coming up in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you create your widgets. Um, please like, subscribe, ring my bell, do a great little funny dance, um, sing my praises and I'll see you on the next one.